The bird has been resting now and I'm going to show you how to carve it. There are several ways in which to do this. I'm from a family where you take slices off and everybody gets a little piece of that. Um, I think for presentation, some people like to do it at the table. So let's just kind of do a combination of those two. Really nice knife. You need something like uh, a carving fork just to, to keep it in place. Um, I tend to start with the legs. So where we made that uh, initial incision, to check that the juices were running clear. Now you've got some really lovely dark meat in there. In there, there's a joint, I'll just show it. That's the joint that I'm talking of, and you want to be coming on that side of it. Put the knife in there. really nicely and there you've got huge thigh and nice leg put that out of the way i do the same on the other side find that ball and socket joint and just around it like that so you've got your two legs there off. This is the main bit, this is the breast, and you've got your wings. Um, you can take the wings off, you can just go in there, get through that joint, take that off there, and you do the same on this side. Just get through and over that little ball and socket joint. That. And that just leaves the crown. And I tend to come in this way because you don't want to tear at the meat. You just want to make lovely little slithers like that. I like to keep the skin with it. Beautifully moist and succulent. Bring the fork back in. Look at that, wonderful. And you can keep making these slices all the way through. And eventually, this part here, you hit the wishbone, and some people like to remove the wishbone to make a wish, but I like to just keep carving rest all the way down and just slowly moving backwards like that and then if you wanted to remove the wishbone it's just sits in here and I tend to take the whole of the breast off the other side and make slices out of that but just look at the lovely grain and that meat, so moist, so delicious. Absolutely fantastic piece of poultry. So let's turn this around and I'll show you how to remove the whole breast. There's a there's a bone running through here that you just want to be on one side of. And just, you find that, it's like a, it's like a ridge. You just run the knife down through there. And you go all the way down. There's the wishbone that you can remove. And it's all about just stroking the knife and separating the bird as you go and it's much easier to do this after the cockerel has rested because it's obviously still very hot at this point there's another bone and what I tend to do is I turn the knife so that the edge 
it's leading up and I come through there which separates it at that point and then just open it up stroking it so that you're not tearing at the meat and releasing it through there a lot of skin and then down to that knuckle where the wing was and that is the whole of that second breast on the other side such a significant piece of meat really delicious and juicy and then what i would do is put it skin side down and i would portion it down that way and then onto the legs um i mean these are quite significant and probably too much for one person so we'll divide them between the thigh and the leg and there's a bone that runs through here that ends there and that makes a nice portion and then I'll just show you again on this one there's the bone runs through there just trace the bone find the end of that bone somewhere there and really lovely meaty dark thigh and leg and the wings they can go in as well I love the wings one of my favorite bits and then you've got this lovely presentation of all of those elements that make the Packington free-range cockerel such a, an amazing bird. But then there's this. This is the roasted carcass. This is an absolute joy. You've got to take time and pleasure in picking all of these lovely bits of meat that are left on that carcass. Of course you can use that. You can make a really lovely pie with it. But then the remaining roasted carcass, the bones, can be the beginning of your next brilliant stock and gravy.